So, would I buy the Flavier Whiskey Advent Calendar again? Unfortunately, it's not just a straightforward yes or no answer. Yes, it was a nice whiskey calendar, and yes, I had a great time, but compared to last year, it just felt a little bit pricier, and some parts of it really improved in terms of the overall experience, but other parts of it, it felt like it was a little bit of a step back. Let's go through it and help you figure out whether or not you'd be happy with this box. First things first, a little disclaimer. Flaviar decided to bring out three advent calendars this year. You have this one, the Elixirs of Life, the Amber Kingdom, and the Search for Secret Spirits. This one, as well as the Amber Kingdom, they both come with two Glencairn glasses, whereas the Search for the Secret Spirits comes with one glass and a leather coaster. The thing is, here in Europe, we only had this one available. This was the only one on the web shop, so I didn't even know about the existence of the other two. I only found out about these boxes recently. So in today's review, we will be only looking at what this The Elixirs of Life has to offer. Now, with that out of the way, let's look at what's in the box. Show you with the box, what was in the box? In this year's Whiskey Advent Calendar, you get the big, and I mean big, cardboard box. You get 24 vials of whiskey, you get two Glencairn glasses, you get a tasting booklet, and you get one free basic annual membership at Flaviar. Keep that in mind because that's important for later. The box of the Elixirs of Life is, it's a nice box. It's big, it's dirty, it's cardboard. It's got a cool, dark, gold, Aztecian theme to it. The artwork has a lot of humanoid animals to them. It's, it's a unique style. Some people will love it, some people will hate it. It is a big one, so it will be on your countertop and it will draw some eyeballs, so be mindful of that. The 24 windows holding the whiskey vials all pop open quite nicely. The middle one though, with the two Glencairn glasses, that one was a little bit harder to pry open. The only downside I would say of this box is its interior. Uh, what's inside is actually just a couple sheets of cardboard that hold the whiskey vials together. It's definitely a step down from the styrofoam that was in the other two boxes, as well as in last year's advent calendar. So something to keep in mind. The vials that the whiskey come in, they stay true to the nice dark Aztecian look. They are 50 milliliter plastic bottles. And on the front, you will find the number, country of origin, type of whiskey, as well as the alcohol percentage and the caps of them are topped off with the little Flaviar logo. Compared to the other calendars, as well as last year calendar, the vials in those ones were glass vials, and the artwork was a little bit different. And personally, I prefer the other vials for really just two reasons. One, the glass just feels a bit more premium. And number two, I really like that on the glass vials, they have a number on the top and not the F from Flaviar. And this is because I don't drink the entire vial in one go. I usually have half of it. So then in the end, I just have a lot of half full vials standing around on my counter. It's just a lot easier for me to find the specific whiskey I'm looking for by looking at the top, finding number 13, number 12, whatever, instead of having to look at the side. It's a minor thing and it's very dependent on personal preference, but that's just my take. Next up, the glasses. And honestly, I really like the Glencairn glasses and I really like that there are two of them. If you just wanna do a tasting with a friend, partner, whatever, then you can split the vial over two glasses and then both of you get the exact same experience. It's great. One thing to note is that my glasses for some reason did not come with the Flaviar branded logo on it. I don't know why. In the marketing material, it does show that they should have it. But honestly, I'm really not that mad about it. I quite like the simplistic look. So for me, works out for the better that it's just a nice clean Glencairn glass without any branding on it. That brings us to the tasting booklet, a key item in a blind tasting whiskey box. And personally, I think this is the part where they make the biggest improvements versus last year. They scrapped the app, they scrapped the website, and they went all in in the booklet, and they're much better for it. The booklet has two pages per whiskey, and on the one page, you will find all of the main details of the whiskey that you can also find on the vial. You also get a nice picture of the bottle and a flavor wheel that shows exactly what kind of scents and notes that you should be expecting from this whiskey. And on the right, you have a kind of color guide, if that's important to you, as well as some space for you to leave some tasting notes and a rating. Everything all in one glance, 
It's really nice. You no longer need to log in somewhere, go to a website, go to an app to get the information. It's a one-stop shop. It's it's really great. The other thing that is really great about this booklet is what they did with the QR code. What it does is it takes you directly to the Flaviar web shop for the bottle of the QR code that you scanned, which is just perfect. I mean, it's just so nice when you're tasting the whiskey and you're thinking to yourself like, hey, you know what? I like this. I, I could do with some more of this. I would like to buy a bottle. How can I go about doing that? Hey, QR code, scan it straight to the web shop. Here's the bottle, that's the price. Buy now, done. It is such a good customer experience. It's simplified, it's streamlined, and it's friction free. It's really well done. Last but not least, let's talk about the star of the show, the whiskeys that are actually in this box and whether or not it is worth it. So it was a good range. There was a nice mix of peaty, smoky, spicy, all whiskeys. It was well-rounded, so on that part, good job. What we ended up with was six Scotch whiskeys, three American, three French, two German, two Irish, and two Japanese, and then one Australian, one Belgian, one English, one Finnish, an Israeli, and one from New Zealand. So you get a good representation from the usual suspects, as well as a nice sprinkle from some kind of unique places as well. So I feel like it was a nice, well-rounded whiskey box altogether. The strengths of the whiskeys were all at about 40 to 50%, except for one, which was a single malt Scotch whiskey from Annandale, and it was at 60%. Two other key things to note is the most expensive bottle that was in there was a bottle of 168 euros, and that was an Arbicky single grain Scotch. And the last whiskey that they had on the 24th of December was a Heaven's Tear Tennessee Bourbon, and it had a really nice taste of cinnamon and caramel and vanilla. And that was just kind of what I personally also associate with Christmas. So it was a really nice one to end an advent calendar with and just kind of usher in Christmas. So good choice to finish it off with. All right, now let's talk value. Let's talk numbers, let's talk digits. The price of the 2023 Flavier advent calendar pre-shipping was 202 euros and 50 cents. And if you break that down across the 24 vials, that's eight euros and 44 cents. But we should take a couple things away because it's more than just the whiskey. So let's, in terms of the value proposition, also remove the Glencairn glasses because I mean, you get them as well, it's quite nice. So if you were to buy those as a set online, you'd probably be somewhere around 16 euros. So that brings you to 186 euros and 50 cents. And at 186.50, you're at seven euros and 77 cents per vial. The prices of the bottles inside this box of all the whiskey samples that you had, they ranged from as low as 40 to more or less the 70s. And if we take all of it across and average it to the price of a 700 milliliter bottle of whiskey, we were at 62 euros and 22 cents, which means that we are sitting at an average price of four euros and 44 cents per vial of the actual whiskey that's sitting here. So that brings us to a 75% markup, which honestly, in my opinion, is a bit steep. But here's the kicker. What about that free basic Flaviar membership? How much is a basic Flaviar membership? I hear you asking. So it's 40 euros a month. So if we were to assume that it's not a free subscription, but it's actually incorporated in the price, then if we take that away, we're sitting at 146 euros and 50 for all the whiskey that's in this box. Six euros, 10 per vial, which is a 37% markup. And that is a much more reasonable place to be for me. At least that's how I feel about it. And that's what brings it to the final question of the video. Would I buy it again? And better yet, also, would I recommend it? And this question, I kind of approach from two separate angles. One, this Flavier box just purely in its own bubble, no external factors included whatsoever. And then second, coming from last year's calendar and coming off of that experience, how do I feel about this one? So first thing to keep in mind, what's valid for both of those scenarios is what is the price of a tasting in 
wherever you want to go, like your local shop or at home if you are to buy the bottles. Getting this kind of diversity at home, having to buy all these bottles, that's an expensive endeavor. Going to the bar and getting a lot of whiskey shots and doing all that, uh, first of all, don't do 24 shots in one night. It's a bit extreme. If you do it, kudos to you, but damn, how's your next morning? But all in all, in terms of just sampling, blind sampling, a lot of different whiskeys, I still think this is a good value proposition. So in its own box, in its own bubble, I think it's quite nice. It's a good recommendation. It's just not an easy or a great recommendation. Now, coming from last year's experience, the first thing that struck me was that the price increased significantly. And oddly enough, the increase in price was 40 euros. And funnily enough, the thing that came in this year's box that didn't come in last year's box was a basic membership at the price of 40 euros. So from my point of view, coming from last year's experience, it was like, oh, this free membership is not free. The types of whiskey in here and the value of the whiskey in here is also significantly higher. They did step up the quality of whiskeys that you get as well, which was really nice. But they also took a step back with the vials, plastic versus glass, as well as the interior of the box, cardboard sheets instead of styrofoam. And all in all, it's, it's, it's a holistic experience. You know, you're opening a window every single day. It's part of the advent calendar. And the experience of pulling out the plastic files from this cardboard box was significantly less enjoyable than it was last year with the styrofoam one. So yes, there's more value, but B, the experience wasn't as enjoyable and C, that free membership that I, I don't really have much interest in felt like it was plastered in with the entire price caked in too. So it didn't really feel free either. So because of that, I'm not really sure. And I think it all comes down to how much disposable income you have because it's, it's a slightly more expensive, luxurious product now than just a really good, easy yes. If you wanna taste some whiskeys, you wanna be surprised by some, you wanna find out what your palate is, you wanna experience a different array of whiskeys, definitely get this box. It went from that to, yeah, it's, it's nice. I, I'd consider it, look into it. You know, see if you, see if you would wanna swing that price. And that's basically what it comes down to. So that's all I got for you today. I hope that there was something useful or insightful for you in this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like for Mike and see you next time.